All right, guys. Uh, so here we are, violin three, for tres consejos. Uh, this is advanced violin three. Um, looks very similar to the other parts too. There's a lot of uh, unison. There's a lot of two part harmony, which means that you're playing with the bottom part of the second violins. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. So we first look from the top to the bottom, see if we can find anything different, anything weird. We find the key change. I mean, the key signature, of course, is key of G, one sharp. Time signature three four standard wapango. Um, we are going to have a few fermatas here and there. Uh, slow tempo at thirty four, then catches right back up at um, thirty six. Again at the first ending, which is also the second ending, because there's three endings, right? This is, it repeats twice, and then the third time you take a third ending. So it happens a few times. I would recommend you to listen for you to listen to the recording to the pista that we made. So you can see how it goes, or listen to the original ones, like I said in the introduction. This was recorded by Miguel Aceves Mejia and Pedro Infante. Vargas recorded it too. There's a few other artists that recorded this as well. So get familiar with the song. It's a really pretty song. It's one uh, really nice wapango. So we go from the beginning. We start with a... Um, oh, before I forget, we have, we have some coros too. So make sure that you're ready to have that, have the singing. Um, so from the beginning, we start in unison with first and second so what we do is we have the D we have these uh, with little grace notes it should be like a little bit of a energized push ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. so like this so so it's like accented right and um, it'll help drive the, the the rhythm right after that we have the pizzicato we're imitating the guitarron they're doing this he's he or she are doing the same notes that we're doing so Sounds like a guitarron part, right? Um, after that, we have the moving part. Little grace note. It's gonna go a little bit faster at tempo, but that's that's the shape. That's uh, the the gist of the the line. All right. So for after that, we have that little uh, thirds. The, the third's going up, uh, but then we have a big jump down to a G. What's happening is we're starting in unison, but then right at the second bar, where we start, we after we start playing, we split into three parts. So then we all go into our, our cuerda. So it's going to be like this. Right? So we try to start a little soft and then crescendo to, to loud. So... Formato where the voice comes in. This is gonna stay. Twenty three is when the dump murien, muriendo. It says muriendo, but the first time, armonia comes in measure two. I mean beat two, so it's gonna be murien two and three and one two three one pop 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 like that. Okay, uh, the piece doesn't have a vocal part, but um, you know how it goes. The armonia comes in the second beat, so it's gonna be one two three one. Slowly, like that. Um, letter B, we do little swells. That E flat to B flat, you can do if you don't, because I don't really like to do open A, uh, and it's a little, it's a big stretch from B flat to the A, so. Make sure you tune that up, and then the slower part. You'll see how it goes when we play. We do the run through, and then the chorus. Three parts doesn't mean if you play third violin doesn't mean you play sing third. So I'll show three of them. Vale más pájaro en mano que ver un ciento volar. Es un dicho, un consejo, right? So tres consejos. There you go. Vale más pájaro en mano que ver un ciento volar. First part. Starting the F. Vale más. Second part. Vale más pájaro en mano que ver un ciento volar. And third part. Vale más pájaro en mano que ver un ciento volar. Might be here. Might be weird for you to hear that third part by itself, but when you have the armonia, you'll see it's not that hard. Um, and then obviously the verses change as as you go the second and third time. And then right after that we come in again. Slowly then a tempo right away that armonia goes tum tum bum taka 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 tum. So they have hit, hit, 
hit baka da ka da ka da They have like a six eight measure and then three four. So then we bum bum bum. Right? Ba da ba and we go back to the beginning. And then um, we take it out. Just take the third ending the third time. And we do the coro. He nunca se acabará. First part. Second part. He nunca se acabará. D, E flat, D. Third part. He nunca se acabará. It goes down to B flat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, he nunca se acabará. Pretty easy. Um... And that's it. That's the whole song. Just you just gotta count. You gotta make sure you know uh, where you're at. And playing along with the recording is gonna help a lot, which we're about to do right now. We're gonna do from the top all the way through. All right. So we will do now a run through of violin three from the top to the bottom. The first time we'll sing the top coro, then the second time we'll sing the second, the third, the third time. That way you can hear all three voices. And then at the end I'll probably do third part just because I'm not a tenor, <laughs> so I don't want to strain too hard. I'll do probably second or third. I'll see. Um, so yeah, follow along. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll try to come in as soon as I can because I have to push play. I might come in like a hair late. But uh, you get the idea. Alright, here we go. From the beginning. Oops. Here we go. in B2. Two, three, one, two, three, one. And then little swells here. I'll sing first part. Vale más pájaro en mano que ver un ciento volar. I'm gonna catch it. One. Two, one. There go. One. Muy bonito, no se le puede negar. Must sing second part. Y nunca se acabará. All right, and that's it. That's the playthrough. Um, that part that I told you, it's a little pitchy. Be careful with that part. I got it a little bit out of tune a few times. I measured 32. Be careful with that part. Uh, we'll be careful with everything, but there are some tricky parts like that that you have to be really careful. The scale going up, um, obviously. But that's it, guys. Uh, hope uh, hope it helps. And stay safe out there, all right? Hope to see you all very soon.